Okay, my mouth is watering now. That looks so good. Time now to turn to Sean Quinn with his first alert or his full forecast, which is a fiesta forecast That's already. Right. Dinner first, then dessert yeah. later. All right, let's go ahead and look. <laughs> Unfortunately, we've got to start with our smoke map. As we look up toward the McKinney area, I guess we'll start with the good news is uh, in and around the Sierra, it looks like things are fairly quiet there. I know there's still some uh, smoldering remnants of some of those fires. Uh, the McKinney fire, obviously, front and center, and there it is, right along the I-5 right there. And, um, boy, the smoke just trails off into just forever, basically, as it's really intense up there. Now we go and look at our flood issues, and one more time, we did this last night, and uh, really didn't have any issues with it, but the, the Weather Service is keeping an eye out on the potential for some flooding in and around uh, inland Ventura County and also up toward the Sierra Nevada, which is good news as long as we can hold on and keep our fingers crossed and make sure that it's rain and not the wind and or more lightning strikes. Your highs today, really just another beautiful day. Warm inland, but not overly hot. Past Robles at 93, I think Ojai was what, 95? And your beaches uh, into the 60s and 70s, more 70s than 60s, and currently seeing widespread uh, 70s and 80s inland, a couple of 90s are still popping up, and then the beaches, mostly 70s, starting to get close, though, to those 60s as we see the wind turning more at the lower levels, at least. It's a, it's a very chaotic sort of wind, wind dynamic right now at the upper levels, but at the lower levels, more or less just straight on shore, kicking in the humidity, which is also uh, has to play with the monsoon effect. Uh, if the clouds go over the top, it can sometimes sort of inhibit the ability of um, the clouds to form at the lower levels, but at the lower levels right now anyways, plenty of humidity, so just kind of expect that you will likely see at least some patchy fog here and there, depending on what's going on in this, which is the upper level. And now, big thunderstorm just popped up in Lassen County. Let's hope that they keep the lightning out of that mix, but boy, a lot of lightning strikes just to our east and south, of course. That is just what we don't want. And here is your reason the monsoon in full gear, big area of high pressure just to our east, is driving up the energy like this all the way up into Southern California. And usually it stays a little more to the east, right about here, maybe the, uh, the Colorado River Valley back to the east. Once in a while, though, as we know, it can meander a bit farther to the west. And speaking of meandering, uh, what's left of Georgette and here is Frank, and boy, it's fun to watch this because Frank is about to do something that's not usually, doesn't usually occur. It does happen, but it's pretty rare, and that is take a course this week. It will weaken, become just a depression, and then a low pressure system, but some moisture will be pretty much just due west of Point Conception, and the big question is, by about next weekend, where does it go? We'll have to watch it closely. One of our forecast models has it actually going into straight into Point Conception. Probably not. Maybe it will. We'll have to wait and see, but that is definitely interesting. There is your future cast the next couple of days. Looks like we stay away from the monsoon. Uh, it will start to fade as we head toward the middle of the week and move out of California for the most part. Maybe not completely, but it looks like our chances will start to diminish as we head into tomorrow and more toward Tuesday. There's your fog for Monday morning as we go 24 hours ahead. We'll go ahead and watch that right there, the ebb and flow, marine layer back again as we head into Tuesday. So now we'll go ahead and look at our temperatures. And again, if you like what we've seen, it doesn't look like much is gonna change, going to change. And remember, our computer has a hard time dealing with some of our coastal communities, so knock a few degrees off of this as far as the forecast. But the overall trend as we go from Monday to Tuesday looks pretty solid with uh, just more of the same, which has been pretty nauseatingly nice, I would have to say. And definitely when you look around the country, a lot of places are looking at us saying, hey, let's book a trip to, the, to California because it is so mild along the beaches. Thank you very much, Pacific Ocean. So all places, everywhere, all going to be looking really nice. Again, inland area is warm, but not too hot. Your beaches, mostly 60s and 70s. Just a, a absolutely perfect day. Monsoon chances will linger through tomorrow morning, and then they should start to evaporate as we head toward the afternoon. And with Frank turning toward us, we do have a building south swell tomorrow. It might be a little erratic at times as Frank has been wobbling, but we will definitely get some waves out of the south and a quick look at our seven-day forecast. And again, just kind of steady as she goes. Inland area is warm, but not overly hot. The monsoon chances fade early next week. Likely to come back, though, and the Frank wild card, the energy from that by next weekend. So all areas looking, again, just absolutely stellar. Of course, we always keep a very close eye. Uh, hopefully some rain, Tracy, out of uh, Frank. That would be really interesting, and also nobody would complain about that. Love seeing the new names. All right, thank you, Sean. Coming up, a basketball legend died earlier this morning. We'll have more on the life of Bill Russell.